Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 29th. That's it. November is ending. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Uh, we have a third quarter moon coming Monday, December 4th. So we have to be up in the morning to see that. Lots of sunspots have uh, erupted on the sun and there are possibilities of aurora here in Colorado. Uh, so if you go to spaceweather.com is a good place to check out alerts like that. Looking at drought conditions, things are a little drier in the south central part of the state and there's some dryness kind of all around us getting a little closer so let's get some more rain and snow in here. Uh, nationwide stuff changes a little bit in the southeast, a touch in the Four Corners area not much changed. Winter doesn't have a lot of swings. Smoke is uh, kind of staying away. There's not much around either. Looking at the snowpack going up to the 29th and we're below normal. We're It's now getting to be where we should have some snow. <laughs> there should be some snowpack really getting going and we're, we're not uh, keeping up with the average or the median. We did get some precipitation over the last week though. It was about a half inch to an inch equivalent, not far from I-25 and spots in the mountains. So it's keeping it from being really bad. Uh, for severe weather and thunderstorm outlooks for Wednesday, not much. Thursday, I got a little outbreak happening here around Houston. So in uh, East Texas, uh, that moves further into the drought areas in Southeast on Friday. Taking a look at uh, us locally, we do have a cold front coming through, so it's going to be chillier on Thursday and Friday, and with that we're going to see some mountain snows, that's good news. It's going to be the type of thing going into Friday where there is snow happening on the western half of the state, and it's possible for a snow or rain shower to make it out across the plains and I-25 area. Um, giving it low chance of precipitation on Friday, but it's not zero. You'll see a big bunch of clouds above the Rockies, though, as a lot of that sinks down and starts to evaporate again. Uh, normally it's 46 down to 43, 19 to 17 for our normal low temperature. Here's our little chance of Friday precipitation. And that's the storm kind of cranking up uh, to our west. A fair amount of moisture in the atmosphere with the uh, light whites and light blues. So we have on Saturday, well, Friday night, um, trough going by, and that's what's kicking off this nearby snow for Friday evening. And Saturday noon, December 9th, a whole week later, we have another trough coming by, and that gives us our, our next chance of snow. So here, putting into motion, here goes the trough coming through for the end of this week. And we do end up above normal for most of the week as this ridge starts moving in. Now, a lot of these illustrations are not very relevant this time of year, so I'm kind of going to go through some of the other graphics quickly. But there's a big ridge on Wednesday into Thursday next week. Here comes our next trough. <clears throat> and then Friday and Saturday. And then into Sunday, you can see a nice trough digging through our state, followed by some strong north winds and north flow. Uh, for temperatures, <clears throat> we're a little cool now with this cool front that's coming through Thursday and Friday. Kind of generally cool in the west, but you can see there's warm above normal and below normal spots side by side. Overall, it's kind of a mixed bag. Then the ridge starts moving in, and we warm up a lot in the west. Uh, moisture, precipitated water in the model, uh, it's just kind of dry. This is the severe weather blob over here, and then we kind of dry out after that. Not much to say at this time of year. Same thing with the surface dew points. It's really dry, and um, the only place you get a little elevated is on the western side as the, uh, compared to us, <coughs> as the moisture comes in with the weak end storm. But not much to see. So let's take a look at the actual surface precipitation. Here comes the western slope snow and the high mountain pass snow for the end of the week into Saturday. You'll just see that the Rockies look like they're twice height uh, because of the clouds up there. Some good winds right there on Monday and Tuesday. You can see how close the isobars are. It's lines of equal pressure. 
and let's get out to this next weekend and see what that storm looks like. So it's Thursday, Friday is dry all week. And still dry into Saturday. Got a little bit of something starting. There you go. So that's a period of upslope that moves down the eastern plains and it's gone. So over the next five days, western slope precipitation, a little bit of snow, maybe a little bit across Denver and out. Um, you might see some up here too, the models kind of breaking right there. But there's some pretty good, a foot and a half up here, foot in some spots. Not everywhere, but it's pretty good. And then over the next 10 days, you can see some of the precipitation with next weekend's storm brings at this point two, three inches of snow along I-25, a little bit more around Boulder. We'll see, that's a long time away, week and a half away, and that can certainly go away or become bigger, so we'll see. Uh, looking for the next seven days where things are a little more certain, we have our cool down Thursday and Friday. We have our small chance of showers coming out on Friday, Friday night. And then we kind of settle into above normal temperatures as that ridge moves in and it's just dry and partly cloudy. So check out local news and frequent weather updates as weather does move in. I update a lot on Longmont Leader. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.